Hey guys, how are you today? All right, so this month, as you already know, we're talking about crayons, markers, and pens. Yes, crayons. And at least for the first part of my week, we're going to talk about cheap crayons, just Crayola. Um, I do have one Kino crayon that I picked up at one of the casinos last time I was in Las Vegas. The rest of these are Crayola, uh, mostly metallics and glitter. Most of them are from the days when I still had daycare. Um, yeah, because I had a lot of crayons and I actually got rid of some, so this isn't even all of what I had. But anyway, so I'm going to talk about making some embellishments with your crayons and a pen. Um, any of you who have done any coloring before with your kids or whatever, know that once you put the crayon on there, you know it's waxy, it's like an oil pastel. Once it's on there, it has to be like the last layer because it's really difficult to do, because of the wax in the crayon, to do any writing or anything over the top of it. I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. So here are just some um, little, I'm going to just call it mono printing with crayons um, on a paper. This is just plain, cheap, inexpensive dollar store drawing paper. And then once I did what I'm going to show you, then I was able to go over the top and doodle over it. Um, and I used this drawing paper. This is also a sheet of thin paper, sort of the same weight as a phone book page. Um, this is from my financial statement catalog that we got in the mail for one of our things. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just say, hey, can I have that to my husband? He says, sure. <laughs> All right, so the first, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. The first one, you're going to need some kind of heat resistant mat. This is, um, these are a couple of small uh, Ranger craft mats. One of them's Ranger, one of them's a different brand, I think, but they're both heat resistant. Um, you could use a mini heat resistant baking sheet or a cutting mat, um, but some one of these thin, most of you probably already have one of these thin craft mats in your art room. Um, you really want to do this on some sort of heat resistant, slick, non-absorbent surface. There you go. All right. And it involves coloring directly on here. So we are going to t just grab a crayon and I'm going to just doodle. Um, I don't know. Today I'm in a circle mood. Make it a little darker than you normally would. This is a blue... Uh, metallic crayon, steel blue. Isn't it a pretty color? I had interesting mixed success with the Kino crayon. I'm not actually sure it's like a normal crayon, but we're going to try it again on camera. Let me zoom in just a little bit for you all. There we go. Okay. So let's try the Kino crayon. Now, the crayons, except the Kino crayon doesn't do this, but the Crayola is all kind of get crumbly and there's like um, crayon shavings on here after I color because you want it pretty dark and pushing pretty hard. Um, if though you don't want those, you can brush them off into the trash can before you do the next step. I don't mind them, so I'm going to leave them. Then take a piece of thin paper, like just cheap drawing paper. And um, this is a craft iron. Um, it is one that I have just for the craft room. I would not recommend doing this with the one you're going to iron clothes with. Um, this is not for little kids to do. This is going to get hot. Keep your fingers out of the way. Please take all precautions. And melt that crayon, get it hot, through the paper with your iron. So I'm calling this mono, mono printing with crayons. And you can see before I even lift it where those little um, shavings of crayon were, where the darker spots are. Now some of this, when you do it this way, is going to stay on the craft mat. I don't really mind that and I'll show you how easy it is to get off. So then you're, you get something like this and it is smooth. So you're left with this on the craft mat and I've tried a few times to do like a second pull and you kind of, you sometimes get a faint. Most of the waxes and the color though is gone in the first print. <coughs> I'm still icky from that bronchitis thing I had, can you tell? My asthma is all kicked up. So 
you get a, like a faint ghost image, but most of this is just gone. You just take a baby wipe to it, it wipes right off. Okay, so once you have this print, then you can go back and you can doodle on this, write words on it, color, color some of the images in if you want with a different kind of pen. Um, and because this is smooth and there's no wax left on the surface, if you took one of these crayons and you just colored on the page, and I will just do a swatch here so I can show you guys. Okay, even if you dump the shavings off, you take the same black pen I just used over here, right? This is the same pen. See, it doesn't write nearly as nice as it does over here because you've melted off all the crayon. Now, the other way that you can do this is paper to paper. So let's do paper to paper. So again, doodle a design with your crayons. Push kind of hard, you know, push kind of hard, get a good coverage of wax. Now most of the wax is going to stay on the paper that you color it on, but some will transfer to the other piece of paper. Okay. And it doesn't seem to matter if your paper has a little bit of acrylic paint on it like this one does. I did the transfer on here first and it worked out actually just great. The only problem with doing it on a paper with some acrylic paint on it um, is that you can't see through, through the, when the wax transfers through the paper because it's just transferring to the painted surface and not going to like soak through. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean about most of it staying on the paper that you drew it on. Okay, so here are our dots, what they are after the wax is all melted. And here is the print from the other paper. You get a faint, like a ghost image on here. Um, and it doesn't seem to matter if this paper is painted or not. You still um, don't get a great image um, on that paper. It, you get something, but not a lot. Now, the other thing, now, now that this is in here and it's melted into the paper, you can, of course, go over it with um, just a plain black pen, but you can use your color pencils, your paint markers, you can use anything. I'm going to make a few more of these embellishments, and I'm going to be back with you in the next video where we're going to be setting up uh, my April inserts for my journal, and uh, don't forget to um, join me in that video. Like, share, and subscribe if you will. If you're not a member of the My Year 2017 Facebook group, which was is what this video was created for, our uh, week over there, um, and you want to be a member, um, or you want to send me happy mail, or you want to join my other Facebook group, I do have another Facebook group. Uh, maybe you want to shop in my Etsy shop to support my channel. Um, which I would appreciate. Um, all the links for all of those things are in the description below. Check it. Don't forget to check it out because there's a lot of information in there. Um, and the most important thing, of course, is to uh, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Like maybe make yourself some crayon embellishments. All right, I'll be back. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.